Besides warm weather, an ice rink's greatest adversary is snow. In order to have a good ice skating surface, you need to remove snow from your rink. This can be done with either a snowblower or a shovel. If the snow is less than four inches deep, a shovel with a wide blade works very well. Push the snow off the rink onto the side. Angle your shovel blade like a snowplow and go back and forth across the width of the rink, pushing the snow off to the side as you go. If the snow is deeper, you may be forced to actually shovel the snow. The easiest way to remove snow is with a snowblower. Start in the middle of the rink and work out, blowing the snow around the outside of your rink. This will create a natural snowbank around your rink that will be both practical and aesthetically pleasing. Once snow is removed from your rink, you'll want to optimize the surface of the ice for skating. If your ice has a lot of bumps and ridges, the best way to remove them is with the ice mower. The use and operation of the ice mower is described later in another section of this video. Whether you have an ice mower or not, the next step is to resurface your ice by applying water. The best way to resurface your rink is with the Bambini. The use and operation of the Bambini is also described in another section of this video. If you don't have the Bambini, you can use a hose to apply water. Take an ordinary garden hose and start spraying at one end and make your way to the other end. Attempt to spray so that there is a puddle on the existing ice. If possible, it is preferable to use warm or hot water to resurface your rink. When you use cold water, the water from the hose doesn't bind well with the existing block of ice. It freezes on top of it, making a layer of ice that isn't as strong. When you use warm water, the warmth of the water from the hose causes the top of the existing ice to melt a bit. When the water refreezes, it bonds strongly with the existing block. A note of caution. If you do use warm water through your hose, make sure that you don't leave the hose laying in just one spot on your ice. The warmth from the hose could cause the hose to melt into the ice a bit, leaving ridges. Once you have sprayed water over the entire rink, just wait for it to freeze. Once the ice skating season is over and your slab of ice is melted, you can disassemble your porter rinks and put it away for the season. Your porter rinks will most likely still be filled with water. If it isn't, you may have rips or holes in the liner. We'll show you how to patch those shortly. The first step is to empty the water out. It works best if you can begin emptying the water from the part of the frame that is lowest so that most of the water will run right out. Go to the lowest part of the frame and remove the fastening sections from the top of the frame. Then remove any leveling blocks from beneath the frame. If your lot is not level, the water will start pouring out. Continue around the entire perimeter of the frame, removing leveling blocks and fastening system sections. Once the fastening sections are off, pull off the protective strips that are on top of the frame and roll them up. Next, go around the frame and pull out all the excess liner that has been tucked under the frame for the winter. This is a good time to make any necessary repairs to your liner. If water has already been draining out, look for holes or tears in the liner. Most liner problems can be easily repaired with duct tape. Each Porter Rinx comes with a roll of white duct tape for that purpose, but any good quality duct tape will do. Wash off the liner across the damaged area. Then dry the area so that the duct tape will stick well. Cover the hole with several strips of duct tape. Now disassemble the frame itself, pulling the pieces of pipe apart. Once the frame has been disassembled, push any remaining water off the liner with a push broom. Though it's not absolutely necessary, 
hosing off your liner will make it much more pleasant to work with in the future. Take a hose with a spray and clean off the surface of your liner. Then, using your push broom, sweep off the water. Starting from one end, fold the liner in half. Spray and sweep that surface. Continue this process of folding, spraying, and sweeping until the liner is folded up sufficiently so that you can store it away for the summer. Now go and reattach all the fastening pieces to their respective frame counterparts for convenient storage. Hose them off and then bundle them together with rope for convenient moving and storage. Place your disassembled porter rinks out of the way until you're ready for it come next winter. The ice mower is an ideal way to grind down any imperfections in the surface of your ice. Once you've rolled your ice mower out onto the ice, lower the wheels so that the ice shaving blades sit right on the ice. When the ice mower is dropped down to the lowest possible point, the ice blade will just barely touch the ice. When the blade spins around, the blade will shave the top layer of ice, smoothing out bumps and ridges. The ice mower is actually a modified lawn mower, so the starting process is just like a lawn mower. Fill it with gas, prime the engine if necessary, and pull the cord to start. Once you begin, the process is much like mowing a lawn. However, the mowing pattern is different from that of lawn mowing. Typically, when mowing a lawn, you start mowing around the outside edge and go around in an ever-shrinking circle. With the ice mower, you start in the center and work outward in an ever-expanding circle. This keeps the ice shavings off the rim. For optimal efficiency in surfacing your ice, we recommend the following coverage pattern. To locate the best place to start, first go to one of the corners of the rink. Then go halfway towards the corner that's nearest to you. Note the distance from that point to the nearest corners. Now move towards the far end of the rink that same distance. This is your optimal starting point. When you start up your ice mower, your first pass will be straight down the center towards the far end of the rink. Don't go all the way to the end of the rink, however. You should turn around once you reach a point that is the same distance away from the far frame as your starting point was to the near frame. Once you reach that point, you turn the mower around to the left and head back down the other way you'll be able to see the swath that you have just shaved. Follow your previous path back down the ice, overlapping a bit to ensure total coverage. Now continue to go round and round. Your circle will get larger and larger until you reach the outer frame. The speed that you push your ice mower should be determined by how rough your ice is. If you have very rough ice, you'll probably want to go slower so that the blades can do a good job. With smoother ice, you can go faster. Once you have shaved the entire surface of the ice, shut off your ice mower and raise the wheels back up. Roll it off the ice and put it away until next time. The ice is now ready for water. Once you have your porter rinks installed, you can either drag two or three hundred feet of hose to your rink to resurface, or you can fill your bambini. Simply by filling it with hot water. The first thing to remember when you're filling your bambini with hot water is you want to remember to turn your water lever to the off position. When your bambini is full of water, 
Simply shut down your water valve. Shut down your water. You want to place the cap back on top of the tank. And now you're ready to bring it to the ice. Once you get your Bambini out to the ice skating rink, simply take your water pipes and connect them to the back of your Bambini. Like so. Next, you want to take your Bambini drag mat. You want to place it over the ice, upside down. You want to face the vinyl onto the ice. At this point, you want to come around to the front of the Bambini. You want to come over and simply turn your lever to the on position. Yeah, you want to simply move your drag mat around to saturate and soak the hot water onto your drag mat. At that point, turn your water back off. At this point, you want to just take the side of your drag mat and you want to simply flip it over. Next, you're going to want to connect your drag mat, connecting the appropriate hooks. Once your hooks are connected, simply come around the front, turn your water lever on. Once you turn your water on, you'll want to immediately start off so that the water doesn't drain out sitting in one place. Whether you have a hand-pulled baby Bambini or a Bambini being pulled by a vehicle, the process of laying down the water is the same. As you pull the Bambini, you will notice that water drops onto the ice in front of the drag mat, which then runs over the water, spreading it evenly. You'll find that the slower you go, the more water will puddle up before being spread by the mat. Adjust your speed to try to maintain an 8-inch puddle of water in front of the drag mat. Resurfacing with a Bambini is a lot like mowing a lawn. You want to make sure that you go over every square foot of the rink. It's easy to tell where you've already been. The wet ice looks different. The best spreading pattern for resurfacing with a Bambini is the same as is used with a Zamboni. You start by pulling the Bambini up the length of the rink in the center. Once you get to the end, you take your Bambini around the entire perimeter of the rink. Once you've been all the way around the rink, go past the strip of ice that you have already resurfaced down the center and go back down the center alongside it. You want to overlap a small amount with the surface that you've already done. This is to ensure that you leave no ice unresurfaced. Once you reach the other end of the rink, turn towards the side of the rink that's farthest away. Now your pattern is established. Continue to pull your Bambini around in an oval until you've resurfaced all the ice. At this point here, you want to disconnect your drag mat and water pipes. Simply by disconnecting the hooks. Simply take your drag mat, place it up and over the Bambini. Take your plumbing, put in the appropriate hooks. That's it.